Please. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> the end one. Owen, I love you too much. Huh? I love you long time. You will forget me. Ice? On the inside of the window. I've never known that. Since I was a kid at my old mum's house. Now then, where are we? I'll tell you where I am. I'm in hell. I've got the most horrendous chest infection and cold. <coughs> I get it all the time. Every time I come back from Thailand from 30 degrees back to this cold, damp and this time freezing temperature, it goes straight to my chest. <coughs> I bypassed the doctors now over here. I've got my own antibiotics because I knew I'd need them. I had to go to the dentist as well. He took a tooth out because it wanted a root canal. It's already had two root canals. I wasn't going to pay for a third. The tooth was black. So I told her, take it out. And now she's took it out. This tooth next to it hurts more than the one she's took out. <coughs> I'm in a right mess. <sighs> I find black currant beachums the best. I don't like them lemon ones, they kind of irritate my stomach. So I'm going to sit down. Look, I have got my fire on. I've got two lights on. And I'm going to sit and watch Vlogging a Dead Horse. I've been watching all these videos, it makes me laugh. I wrap myself up in my sleeping bag, take some more beachums. Took an antibiotic and sit here shivering and sweating this ghastly chest infection out. Yeah. Sorry about that little rant. It is absolutely frozen solid. Can't get that off. How are we doing? It's about three, isn't it? Yeah. It's like ice. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not frost, it's like solid ice. Yeah. She uh, took about half an hour for me to cross the car some more. Well. What a difference. From a week ago. 30, 32 degrees. Down to minus 6. Look at this. Hey! Well, I won't be going anywhere in this. I won't be going anywhere in this. Put a bit on. Look at this. I stopped. Sick to me back teeth of it. The only way I walk into town. It's treacherous. Now then, where are we? Back in the UK. It's freezing. I've been back seven days. This time last week, I was just boarding the aeroplane in Bangkok, where it was around about 30 degrees. It's around about minus four or five here. Since I've got a lot of chest infection, going from the hot to the cold, bang, right on my chest, it does it every time. I knew it'd happen. I even told little Bob in Bangkok that I'll have a chest infection next week. Anyway, first day out, I'm gonna go into town, got a few things to do. And what can you do? What can you do when it's freezing cold like this? What's happening? Well, England's got knocked out of the World Cup. You can't blame Harry Kane because he's the only guy that's got the balls to stand up and take the penalties. Should he have took the second one? No. Somebody else should have done. But nobody had the gonads to get up there and do it. So don't blame Harry Kane. 
What am I doing with myself? Well, I've started watching The Crown Series 5. Brilliant. Watched two episodes last night. But I've not been up to it. I've just been feeling sorry for myself, ligging on the city, wrapped in a sleeping bag and blankets with a hot water bottle and Vic on my chest, trying to get better. Today's the first day that I've felt back to my old self, a bit of a spring in my step. I'm thinking of making a video about my last trip to Thailand, where I went wrong, good points, bad points, and then I'm gonna have a break from this YouTube thing for a while until I've planned and booked my next trip. I've got a few personal things I've got to sort out, a few big decisions to make, and when I've made them, let's see what happens. Stick or twist. Anyway, enough of this. Over and out. It's snowing. Let's have a look how fast it's going to stick. It's sticking more at the front. You can see Mrs. Hermanchinsky's drive. It's covered. I hope she doesn't slip when she comes back. It's the 30th of December and I've been back in England for just over three weeks. The weather has been atrocious. The first week it was freezing every day, ice everywhere. The next two weeks it's been windy, it's been raining, it's now blowing a gale. I am now going to get my car. It needs a new radiator. It's cost me 200 and odd pound. I thought it would be more than that, so I'll, I could have done without paying it, but at the end of the day, it's not as bad as I thought. So I'm going to walk down and get my car. And then this afternoon, I'm going to sit at home with a fire on, snuggled up drinking cappuccinos, watching Jeremy Clarkson in Clarkson's farm. It's really good, it's funny. So that's what I'm going to do. Now then, another little rant. Jakeman's Cough Sweets. Yeah? They used to be 50 pence for a big bag. Now, these were 99 pence and there's half the amount in the small bag. Now surely things are more expensive, but they can't be that much more. We've been taken advantage of. We are all being taken advantage of. The thing is, what are we going to do about it? Nothing. We'll do nothing. As Private Fraser says, I think it was, we're doomed! Looking for a body apparently. <laughs> Got a bit of work to do in this garden. So look at me man shed, I've not been in here for about four months. Yeah, it's been a rough old winter, I tell you. Very cold. But I think we've seen the last of it now. So hopefully, I can soon get out of here. Get tidied up, get a little bit of colour into the place. Need a new fence there. Sadly, my neighbour at the back passed away. Last year, he was a good character. Very funny guy. Please subscribe to the Eyes Boy. Now then, where are we? It's the end of January, 
31st today of January I'm heading to town with the train going past and I'm going to have a coffee with the old doc I'm going to see if I can try and get him to say a few words about my last series of videos it'll all be good stuff I'm sure I, I got an email the other day from YouTube and to tick a little box for the new terms and conditions of YouTube and basically you can't really do anything you can't have an opinion you can't swear you can't show any beautiful lady on your thumbnail or in the video in fact so when I'm walking around Thailand and occasionally I point my camera at a pretty girl or past the bar you can't anymore as your video will be demonetized you can't drink beer you cannot basically do anything the only way around it for someone like myself is to have a membership area on YouTube and put them sort of videos on there is it a good idea? will anybody be interested? maybe only a pound or two pound a month only cheap just so that I can create them videos and upload them up there if anybody's interested in joining my channel just click the join button follow the instructions I will upload new videos on a regular basis I've got a backlog of videos which I'll also upload every week and when I get to Thailand or wherever I go on my travels I will make members only videos hopefully in the future when I've got enough members I will do some live chats so for the price of a pint why not become a member all right doc Oh, yeah. Have you been watching my latest video series? Is yeah, well, I have been, but when I want to know your uh, update on your medical and how fit you are and how sick you are, I just look at your videos. Because every time you've got a video going, I've had this, I've had to go to a chemist and I've had this. I thought, so, we should be showing other places. But when I look at it now, we've had the best times. The best times have gone, it was cheap, and everything was great. You go there now, it's well overpriced. But look for somewhere else, I think. Yeah. Thailand's not for me anymore. It's too dear, they're ripping everybody off. It's really ridiculous. So, but mind you, Philippines might be the same now. I've not been there. Anyway, I've given it all up now. Had great, had the best times, the pound was strong. Many big, uh, good exchange rate, good time, excellent good time, but then times have gone now. It's a big money job. So it won't be for me anymore. I might have to find somewhere else to go. Butlins. Eh? Butlins. Yeah, yeah, Butlins, yeah. <laughs> What's happened there, Bob? Oh, it's smoke alarm. Get oh. word off, so I ripped it down. <laughs> <laughs> Why you want to make me?